Three o'clock in St. Louis. You already booked my flight back to the lot. It's late. I spent half of my winter in California weather Go as Cassie and Heather, I bet they know me better Way, way before varsity, before I got a letter Went from passing letters, now I 3D peaked the message Day two, headed to the shop. We're on Weird Shop Boulevard, Los Angeles, LA, LA, California. That's the plan, man. Trying to build from the ground up. Sitting in the shop non stop. Unless I'm passing out like business cards or something. Just sitting in the shop non-stop. I mean, getting at, trying to get every walk in and walk in that I can get. That's how you build. People base, building a clientele off social media alone, but you can't do that just social media alone. It's gonna take way longer. But if you stay in that shop consistent, can't nobody take nothing from it. I mean, if you if you putting out quality picks nonstop, consistently, like getting better with every single cut. I mean, who can who can deny that? That's the key. You got to be consistent. Every cut you learn from, like that's why you take pictures. That's why you take videos. That's why you post. On the regular, so you can look back and say, "Dang, I could have did that better," or "Man, I could have did that fade cleaner." You know what I'm saying? And then the next time you do a cut, after you even look back on your stuff, you'll be like, "Oh yeah, let me knock that out." Bop, 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 bop. Do it better than I did the last time. That's how you get better. Constantly learning, constantly, constantly learning, constantly. At your past mistakes and build up from there. I've worked in Atlanta, I've worked in LA now, and of course back home, uh, East St. Louis, St. Louis, Midwest area, Metro East area. Uh, I've noticed the difference in the bigger cities like uh, Los Angeles or Atlanta, man, it's like barbers there on. I want to say they're not hungry because I think everybody in this profession, if you love what you're doing, you're hungry. But I feel like they get comfortable in their situation. So it's like me coming from a smaller market. I'm like, oh, I'm getting out, I'm gonna get out here and get it no matter what. But it's like they they used to their environment. They know what's going to come with it. So they're not putting that extra oomph into it. Because they know it's going to come. Like literally, like, it's 9 o'clock in L.A. I'm headed to the shop. There's going to be, like, probably one person at the shop. Or maybe not even, most times not even that. Uh, it's like I'm always the early bird, or I'm like, and nine o'clock is not even early back home, like in the metro east area. At my home shop, it's not even early, like Friday, Saturday, day in there, five o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like that's unheard of out here. If I'm up early and they not, I mean, I'm a, I'm a. I'm gonna seem like the outcast because they're gonna be like, oh, he worked too much, oh, he's going too hard. But they obviously don't know what I'm trying to do. They don't know my mission. <laughs> like I said, the plan is to stay in the shop nonstop, try to catch every walk in, answer the phone, you feel me? Try to get every, every loose head that comes through the door. And that's how you build. Like clockwork, but you gotta stay consistent with it though. 
Because if I was to uh, be in there like, like clockwork, but then the next day, uh, I think I'm going to sleep a little longer. Nah, that's me getting lax, so got to go hard. Los Angeles, California, you're going to know me. <laughs> End of day two in the books, man. Just leaving the shop. About to see what I can find to eat out here in LA. I ain't found no good food yet. I gotta find that. Gotta find me a spot, a go-to spot. Especially for times like this when I'm leaving the shop at night. But, day two in the books. Take over LA. More walk-ins. It was a Sunday though, so. People really not used to a shop being open. So when they see that, that draws them in. I should made day two a better day. Today was a more steady, consistent flow of people. I feel like I was cutting all day down there. I probably sat down. I sat down here and there, but it was more steady. So I can kind of see how the how the walk-ins work here. Definitely a good a good start because. I know from here it didn't do nothing but build up. So I know if I stay consistent, give dope cuts constantly, non-stop, be consistent, be there. I know if I keep doing that, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna, it's gonna build. It ain't got no choice but to build. But like I said, day two in the books. About to find me something to eat. Probably gonna lay it down. What we gonna do tomorrow? Make tomorrow better than today. Just stay consistent at the same time. Make day three better than day two. Ah.